Little Red Alice. And something you should know about me is that I love bubble tea. Like, seriously, love it. I'm up for bubble tea anything. Even putting it on my face. Wait, what? Hi everyone, welcome to Little Red Alice. So, it is currently, um, 12.20 a.m. And I had to get up at 5 a.m. this morning to rush a Broadway show, and I saw the show and literally got home like an hour ago. So it's been a long day and I'm absolutely exhausted and all I want to do is sleep. <laughs> Which is totally fine because today, or tonight rather, I am going to be trying out a sleeping mask. And not just any sleeping mask, a bubble tea sleeping mask. Anyways, for Christmas, like a month ago, my parents got me this really cool green tea, bubble tea, sleeping mask. And today, I'm gonna be trying it out. Oh, and if you're new here, hi, I'm Little Red Alice. I do all kinds of videos, including beauty, makeup, fashion, lifestyle, get ready with me's, morning routines, favorites, hauls, and testing out products. If you like what you see here today, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button below so you can stay up to date on everything Little Red Alice related. Also, make sure to hit the little bell next to the subscription button so you can get a notification every time I upload a video. And I think that's it. All right, so without any further ado, let's test out this product. So the full name of this product is the Etude House Bubble Tea Sleeping Pack. Etude House is a Korean makeup brand that specializes in makeup and skincare. Beyond green tea, Etude House sells this mask in two other flavors, strawberry and black tea. You can currently buy this at any store selling Korean makeup products, or you can buy it online. On Amazon, it currently retails for $10.87. So the instructions for this mask are all in Korean, and I can't read this, so I'm just gonna quickly uh, go online to uh, see how this is done. Etude House Bubble Tea Sleep. Okay, so basically, this mask is comprised of two different parts. The first component is the black tea gel, which is kind of like the green gel consistency substance you see here. And the second component is the moisture capsule bubbles, which are obviously the little boba bubbles at the bottom. Combining these two factors together is going to make your skin feel moisturized and elastic while you sleep during the night. Additionally, the green tea component of this mask helps to control sebum on your skin and makes your skin clean and healthy making it the perfect mask for acne-prone skin. Okay, so because this is a face mask, the first thing I have to do before we can actually put this on my face is I gotta take up all my makeup. BRB! All right, I'm back, and I have no makeup on, and I hate it. Mm. Okay, so grabbing the sleeping mask, the mask comes with a little cute white spatula spoon type thing, and we're gonna use that to kind of fish out the little boba balls at the bottom. Actually, I should open this for you guys closer up here. I hope this isn't like an awkward angle for anyone. Okay, so here is the container and I'm just going to quickly pop off the lid like so. And there's a second lid here, as you can see, which helps just to keep the moisture in and everything. So that's gonna go to, ooh. In terms of consistency, I'd say this is like a pretty good medium between like a jello and an actual liquid. It moves pretty well, but it does have some structure to it. See, when I pull up some on the spoon, it doesn't completely plop away, but like when I shake it a little bit, it falls off the spoon. Does it smell like anything? It smells kind of clean, if that makes sense. It doesn't really smell like green tea, that's okay. Okay, so what we need to do with the spoon is actually use it to fish out some of these boba balls. So I think I got one right here. I don't know if you can see that. It almost kind of looks like a fish eye. <laughs> Should I not have said that? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry if that like freaked anyone out, but that's kind of what it reminded me of at first. I'm just gonna plop that on my hand. So I grabbed two only because in the instructions online it said take one to two little boba balls. So I decided to take two and I'm gonna go set this down, but keep the spatula. It recommends using the spatula almost like to break these little boba balls and make them um, dissolve, help them dissolve into the liquid. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. So I tried to like scoop up the mixture that I could with the spatula from the back of my hand. I'm sorry if this looks like unappetizing to anyone. The, I noticed that the boba balls didn't completely dissolve. I kind of like cut them up into little chunks and now they're mixed in with the rest of the jello-like consistency. I might just be impatient, but I think this is as far as they can go in terms of like completely dissolving and breaking down and immersing with the product. So now I think this is pretty good to apply to my face. For doing that though, I'm just gonna quickly use my fingers to kind of mix these two together. Maybe the warmth of my fingers will help to dissolve the boba bubbles further into the jello-like consistency. Okay, and then here goes nothing. I'm just gonna use my fingers to apply an even layer 
all over my face, avoiding the eye area because that's really delicate. Just in case anyone's wondering why I'm like looking like slightly to the side, it's because the camera's here and the viewfinder's here, and the viewfinder is my mirror, so I'm looking here. But I know you guys are here, so. <laughs> Sorry for the extreme close-up, it's just that I wanted to make sure I was covering everything evenly and I couldn't see super clearly from where I was. So I think I may have grabbed a little too much. The two boba bubbles may have been too much, but it's okay. Maybe it'll just leave my skin like extra moisturized or something. <laughs> so in terms of like consistency, it doesn't feel super slimy. It feels kind of like um, lotion actually. Okay, so I just finished applying this to my face with my fingers. I don't know if you can see it, but the mask dried completely clear. All the little brown specks that were left over from the boba bubbles completely dissolved into the rest of the skin when I used my fingers to rub it in. So yeah, the application went really well. So the next step is just honestly to go to sleep and let the mask do its magic while you're sleeping. Okay, so I'm gonna go to sleep because I'm so tired, but I will be back in the morning to let you know how the sleeping mask worked. All right, so I will see you in the morning. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So I just slept for 10 hours and I'm feeling great. I just realized that I've worn these pajamas in like a bunch of videos this month and I own other pajamas, I promise. These are just like the nicest and like the comfiest that I own. Okay, so I haven't washed my face yet, but I just wanted to check in with my first impressions of the mask as soon as I woke up. Apparently my skin feels really great actually. There's no like sticky residue or anything or even any like remnants of like the mask from before. So I know it completely dissolved into my face. Now I'm gonna go wash my face completely and do my regular normal morning skincare routine. And then I will check back in with my thoughts. BRB. Hey guys, I'm back. So I was gonna go put makeup on, but then I was like, you all probably wanna see my face after the mask, so I'm gonna be makeup free, it's fine. All right, so anyway, my thoughts on this mask. First of all, I loved it. I think the concept is so cute and so much fun. I mask a lot, both like these sleeping masks and sheet masks, and I think I actually prefer using something like this only because the thing with sheet masks is you have to put it on, wait 20 minutes, then take it off and like rub the product back into your skin and everything. And because I usually sheet mask like right before I'm gonna go to bed, I'm usually really tired and all I wanna do is go to bed. This was fun because you just kind of like slap it on and then go straight to bed and you don't have to do anything else. I also think price-wise, this is really good. Again, the price on Amazon was like 1087. There's still like so much product left in here as you can see and so many little bubbles at the bottom. So I think this is definitely worth the investment. And yeah, applying it had like a really smooth, clean feel and there was no sticky residue in the morning or anything when I woke up. I was a little worried about that. But yeah, I really liked it. My skin feels like really smooth and soft right now. It's the winter time and my skin gets like notoriously dry in the winter. So something like this that provides extra moisture was really helpful. All in all, I'm definitely gonna give this a thumbs up. I think it's a really good and cool and effective product. If you're interested in buying this mask, I'm gonna leave a link below where you can purchase it. And yeah, I think that's it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit that red subscribe button below and click on the little bell to get notifications every time I post a video. And yeah, I think that's it. See you all in the next video. Love you.